Friday. Um, today I'm gonna guide you through um, a whole new series. It's gonna be an only body weight workout. Um, it's Friday, so it's the end of the week. Maybe you don't feel like going into the gym or using any equipment, but you still wanna challenge your body and I'm gonna guide you through a routine uh, divided in four parts where you're gonna be um, using your body differently. So this is going to be the whole challenge of the workout. Um, I hope you're gonna stay along with me, you're gonna stick with me. Um, I can assure you that this is a type of workout that you need to do once in a while. And sometimes it's, you know, it's overwhelming to hit, to be with weights all the time or to do a specific type of sports. And sometimes you just need to move your body differently and uh, feel it in a different way too. So this is why we are doing today this body weight only workout. I want you to challenge your body to push your limits and uh, we're gonna go through this together. So the first part is going to be uh, an endurance um, type of um, exercises. So uh, we're gonna go for 45 seconds and we have um, 15 seconds off between each exercise. So endurance then we're gonna be doing working on resistance with your body and then plyometrics so it would apply a lot of like jumping. Um, if you had if you have bad knees, this is um, I will give you um, uh, different ways of doing the exercise, so don't worry about that. And we will finish with a strong core. So if you guys are ready, I'm gonna put my timer now. And the first one is going to be jumping jacks. In three, two, one, and we go. And if this is too easy for you, you can always cross over with feet and hands. This is the first part, so we're getting into a full body warm up um, because when you're gonna be working your resistance and uh, jumping part, this is when you're gonna be like, okay, I need my body to be warm. So we're here for 45 seconds with your jumping jacks. Make sure that you're extending your arms fully and your legs, you're staying on your toes so you can go a little bit faster. and one. Next one is going to be mountain climbers. We're going to go into a plank position. You're going to place your hands under your uh, shoulders and let's go. This exercise, it's a, it's a lot of core engaging, resistance at the same time and you want to try to run inside as fast as possible and still keeping your position. Uh, you don't want to have your butt too high, but still feeling your core working and warm up your entire body. You can open your hands on the floor so you have more stability. And we're here for another 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. I'm feeling already warm. Okay, the next one, we're gonna be doing suicide, so we're gonna jump side to side. And three, two, one. We're gonna touch the floor, touch the floor. You wanna see that back leg is going behind you. This is what also helping you to push, to jump on the other side. If you cannot jump, you can still walk it. Big step to the side. Bend over, touch the floor. So we are going to do the first circuit two times. We're here for another 15 seconds. You should be already feeling your heart going faster and feeling your core, your entire body warming up. We're gonna go again, catch the breath into jumping jacks in three, two, one, let's go. There is no excuse if you don't have equipment, depending on where you are, you can always do something. Remember, your body is your number one, well, number one tool to succeed. 
if you know how to use your body and anything else has just you know cool 15 more seconds here this is round two of second number one and next one mountain climbers go into a plank position open your hands on the mat so you have more stability on the floor plank position and you go in Try to bring your knees to your chest, keeping that plank position. And we're here for 45 seconds. The goal is to not stop. more seconds. Bring those knees in. Three, two, and one. Stand, catch up with breath. We're gonna go into suicide, jumping side to side, bend touch, go to the other side. Three, two, one. You bend, you don't want to lean too much forward, but you want to use your legs. Try to touch the floor and jump back. Start off with push ups. We're gonna do 10 shorties all the way down, one push up all the way up. Ready? Push up position. We go down for 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Go again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Again. Three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, up. We got one more. Two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. Nice. The resistance part, this is what you need to need. You need to be warm. Second part, exercise number two. We're gonna do squat pulses. Go into a squat position. And we're gonna pulse up and down. You wanna be pushing through your heels back. Pulse. Making your leg work, your quads, your arm strength pushing from the back. You really, really wanna use your legs in this one. Don't wanna lean too much forward, but try to stay back straight and pulse up and down. Make those leg work. 15 seconds here. You should be feeling the burn. It's normal. And what we have to do, the challenge here, is to keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake your legs. Resistance. Next one. We're gonna be doing a walking plank. We're gonna start on your hands, drop to your elbows, up on your hands. Ready? And let's go. Drop and up. Working your core, your arms, shoulders. This is resistance.
your legs are squeezed, your butt is squeezed, your core is very tight, so you don't use too much of your lower body, but upper body. And down. We have one more round of everything. We're gonna start again with the push-ups, 10 shorties, one all the way up. We continue for 50 seconds. Ready? Three, two, and push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. Four, five, seven, eight, nine. Up. If it's too much, you can always drop to your knees, lean forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, ten, and up. One. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is working your triceps, so keep it tight. Elbows, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up. Whew, good job. Next one, resistance training. Ooh, feeling my muscles. Squat pulses. Squat position, we go up and down, pushing through those heels, ready, and let's go. Push up and down, feeling those quads working, putting all the weight in there, pushing through your heels, feeling, you know, the burn, everything is like so warm and warming up, you want fire, and your legs so we build stronger so we can resist better at anything we do five more seconds here three two and one up very nice you got 10 seconds to catch up before we do our last move with the walking planks Plank position, let's go, and drop down and up. My belly button is really, really tight as I am squeezing it inside, so I can feel my core forming a solid piece of steel. <laughs> this is what we want. Up, up, open your hands so you have more support on the floor. We have for 10 more seconds and resist. And second part done. We're gonna jump into jumps. <laughs> uh, the third part where we have a lot of jumping in there. The first move is going to be boxing burpees. I'm gonna teach you what, to, what do I do during my routine for boxing. So it's a jump, down into a squat position, one, two. Squat position, one, two. You gotta punch using left to right. We go for 
10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! A lot of jumps. That's all dedicated to this. All right, third exercise. We're gonna go into side jumps. So if you have a mat or little stuff at home that you can see you want, you want to jump from this part of the mat to the other edge, shooting your legs. And big jumps as far as you can. If you have short legs, then just like me, the goal is to do the biggest steps you can. It's like a race. We're here for another 10 seconds. Push to that leg, jump. And break. Point one, second number three. We're gonna go again. Remember, first exercise, boxing burpees. Are you ready? Let's get it. Jump and squat. One, two. And squat. One, two. Squat position. One, two. Keep your hands to your face and punch on the face. We got 10 more seconds here. I hope you're dying as I am. In a good way, of course. One, two. Nice. Next one. If you tell me that body weight exercises are not challenging, then look at me. Okay, knee tuck, squat, jump, touch your knees, squat, jump, touch, squat. If you cannot jump, touch, touch, squat, touch, touch, squat, that's fine. Still lifting your legs, but if you can jump, then let's get it. We got 10 more seconds here. Before we go back to our last one, big jumps. Side to side, starting from one edge, going to the other one, a little working the di diagonals on your mat. Three, two, go. This is our last one for the jumping part. We have fun too. Then we're gonna attack some co work to finish strong. Ten more seconds here. Five, four, three, two. Woo. See this? Body weight workout. <laughs> Let's get into the core part. First one we're going to be doing is you're going to lay down and from here extend your feet. You want to crunch with your hands. You're going to come and touch your knees. Really? You don't want to go too high. You want to have that core engage enough to lift you and come Touch your knees. That's it. This is all you need. Ten more.
more seconds here. Touch your knees with your fingertips. Come back. Knees. I can feel that. Okay, next one. We're going into a plank position. And what we want to do, you're gonna twist your hips side to side, touching the floor. So, twist, touch, working your obliques. You really wanna let that weight go on your hips so when you lift, you really feel your own body weight lifting. That's the goal. You got 15 seconds here. Before we go into a reverse crunch position. Five. And reverse crunch position. If you have a mat, that's great to visualize. But basically, what I wanted to do, see the edge of your mat, each corner. From here, you're gonna drop your legs, bring them in, switch, drop, in. In, in. Let go, bring in. Let go, bring in. Your legs are still working. Your quads are still working because you need them to bring them up. Switch. We got 10 seconds here. Extend, bring. Extend, bring. Five. Three, two, and one. We go one more time of each exercise. We're not done. Let's build those abs strong. Okay, ready? Lean back. Remember the first one, you're gonna go reach for your knees up, touch. Hold that position one long second at the top so you're actually feeling that core squeezing, engaging to reach and touch your knees. This is not coming from your neck, but really from your core. As you hold one second, you can feel the engagement. That you need. If you want more challenge, extend more your legs. So it's a little harder. You got five more seconds here. Come on. Up and touch. Up and touch. Three, two, and one. Back position. Let's get it. Let's finish this body weight workout strong. In three, two, one. Feet together, hips side to side. Touch. If you cannot touch the floor with your hips, it's okay. As long as you drop it low and as you lift it to bring it up, you feel that weight on your obliques. Seconds. We almost at the end of this workout. We're keeping it up. We're gonna finish strong. And done. Alright. Last one. Get into position. Last 45 seconds of the workout. Are you with me? Yes, you are. And finish this together and have a great feeling. Three, two, and extend, touch, bring in. Just be feeling your lower abs, your upper abs, as you extend, bring your legs. This is the end, guys! I hope you're enjoying this workout while you're doing it because I am having a great time. I'm like, yeah, 
getting this one done. Five more seconds here. Strong grips. And then. That was a workout. That was a really good workout. I'm like all sweaty and feeling it. My core is so sore already. I'm feeling my legs. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I hope you had a great time doing it. I hope you enjoy new moves. I, I hope you change your body. I hope that you're just having fun at home. At the end of the day, this is why it matters. And you're working towards a better you. And I hope you're following along with me so you can build together and get to where you want to be. It was Sylvie, guys, and I will see you soon again on Sweatflex.